The Battle of Thermopylae and the Brave 300 is one of the greatest tales of strength and courage since the beginning of man. But did history have it wrong? In the ultimate epic battle simulator, we can peer back into time and see the true horrors that were unleashed by Xerxes unto Greece. But was it really Xerxes and the Persian army? Many historians would say it was, but some would say it was this kangaroo that led 10,000 elite soldiers to the hot gates to take Athens. His name was Big Skip, a tyrant of the kangaroo empire, an army of barbarian roos wielding razor claws, towering at eight feet tall, kicks as hard as bedrock. I can only imagine what it would have been like to have been one of the 300 Spartans on their narrow path staring across the field. The thoughts of valor, a beautiful death, and is that a fucking kangaroo army? It was a glorious day to die. Charge! The roar of the ruse ensued, a stampede of hopping, tails kicking dust to the wind. The battle had begun. They began to close the gap quickly with their powerful stride. The Spartans buckled down, a wall of shields and spears the only thing from stopping this terror from reaching the capital. Old Fern. A clash of claws upon the bronze-plated wall rung out. First contact had been made. We really have to zoom out here to get a good scope of this battle. As the moon rose, so did the wall of the dead. The blockade was holding. Their plan was working. The ruse in the back screamed, FORWARD! The ones in the front cried, BACK! The first wave had failed. Rather than face a terrible death at the hands of Big Skip, or to be crushed beneath the boots of the Spartans, some took their own fate into their tiny claws. Today belonged to the Spartans. Upon the following day, a meeting was conducted between the two leaders. Let me guess, you must be Big Skip, said Leonidas, sounding like an Indian chief for some reason. Let us reason together, brave king. It would be a regrettable waste if you and your men were to perish together, all because of a regrettable misunderstanding. The conversation went on, but there was only one thing Leonidas was there for. What do you call a lazy baby kangaroo? A pouch potato. <laughs> What's a kangaroo's favorite type of music? Hip hop. <laughs> What's a kangaroo's favorite season? Spring? <laughs> it had worked. As Leonidas looked into the beady black eyes of the tyrant, he knew he had gotten what he came for. Hubris. The famous goading of the tyrant. Now, all he had to do was wait. The Spartans regrouped on the narrow path. Before them stood Big Skip's most elite kangaroos. But little did they know, the free Greeks stood in wait for an ambush. It was to be a wild night.
Greeks had held their position, but now it was time to advance. Unfortunately, the slopes were slippery with the pile dead. The night wore on, and the wall grew higher. Victory was indeed in the Spartans' hands. Leonidas had tricked Big Skip, and his fury was endless. Treachery. This is how the remainder of the 300 will end. Sold out for some Rutang and gold by a Spartan named Ephialtes. There was no strategic land for their superior fighting skills to take advantage of. They were in the open and outnumbered by the Horde. Your man, Ephialtes, has chosen the right path. I offer you one more chance to bend a knee for the Rue Empire. You'll be an unopposed king, a warlord of all of Greece. You will bathe in wine and gold. You will have a different virgin every night until the end of your days. The scribes will tell of your compassion to my reign. You will be a god among your people. All I ask is one thing of you. Bend the knee. No! Slaughter them! This is their legacy. The 300 held the hot gates for two days. Even in the face of a monster, they stood their ground. Their roars would inspire all of Greece to unite against a common enemy, ringing throughout the halls of history.